Hello world! Welcome to this DroneLink Basics Google Earth. In this video we demonstrate you how to make a mission in Google Earth and import that into DroneLink. First we make a small path mission 30 meters above ground level. Give it a unique name so it's easy to find back. I put 30 meters above ground. Secondly, we will add an orbit. Make a rough estimate because Google Earth cannot transfer the correct data to DroneLink. Also, give your orbit a unique name. I also set here 30 meters relative to ground. Now put both files in one folder and export that folder. And save as a KMZ or a KML, up to you. I use KMZ, which is the zip version of the KML. That's it for Google Earth, now let's get to DroneLink. In DroneLink, make a new repository, give it a unique name and create. Now click import and import the KMZ file. A path is a path, but change the orbit to orbit and select import. And there is your imported Google Earth mission. But you can see that especially for the orbit, the skill is not the same. The path, however, is correct. And as you can see, you can just treat it as any other mission. You can change the pathing. You can change the corner radius. Just like any other mission. And that means you can add markers and points of interest at will. Please note that you're actually importing two different components. So DroneLink will generate an approach between the orbit and the path. And by default in an orbit, it will just point to the center down, which of course we can change. Here I'll change the drone heading and the gimbal orientation. And that works perfectly. Here 
Here we make an orbit only around the atomium in Brussels, just to give you an example. We'll save it first as an orbit, and then import it as an orbit, and then as a path, and you will see the difference. We import the Atomium in DroneLink. And you see the offset. It's not much, but it's too much if you're flying safe and around trees. Now we will import the orbit again, but now as a path. And now you see that the location and the scale is about correct. But we got a million waypoints, so it's not usable. Well, there you have it. It's up to you if you want to use it. Now let's go from DroneLink to Google Earth. So, I'll just select a random file which I've used before, just a standard uh, mission. Go to the Mission Preview button. And when finished generating and the picture comes up, go to Export to Google Earth. Close Drone Link. Locate your exported file. Double click to open. And there is your mission. Now let's start flying it. All the people uh, looking out at the stars tonight from other worlds, and they see I was out there. They say, gee, I wonder what little speck out there, what if there are intelligent beings? And there is your drone link mission in Google Earth, nicely 3D.